Hello there, friends. Some of you may know me by now, but for those who are new, welcome to the channel. My name is Jack, and I do the behind the scenes work for Chef Jean Pierre. I just want to take a second to thank each and every one of you for supporting the channel and building the best community I have ever seen. In 2021, we grew to 500,000 subscribers, and that was a huge milestone for us. But we have bigger plans for 2022. And I hope you all stick around for the fun. Anyways, that's enough of my talking. I'm making the video too long. I hope you all enjoy the best moments of 2021, and I'll see you again next year. Well, let me show you how to have a fight open. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a pan, then you can cook in. It helps if you can cook in the pan. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is a beautiful pie, my friends. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. They're gonna say, how many times is he gonna say that? But really, look at this. <laughs> I just said it again. Look at this. Is that gorgeous or what? I love my life. <coughs> Time Life magazine published an article in of, of butter. Butter is good for you. <laughs> I was in a restaurant business at the time, and, and I remember it was a revolution. Nobody wanted to eat butter. I mean, here I'm, I'm running a French restaurant. Every dish is at a quarter pound of butter, and people would say to me, um, we love that sauce, but can we please have it without butter? Without butter? I was like, that's it. I'm going to retire. I'm going to become a plumber. How, what am I going to do cooking without butter? <laughs> and finally, they came to their senses and said, you know what? Butter is good for us. So thank goodness. Anybody who doesn't like butter, I don't trust them. <laughs> that was a perfect amount, friends. Right? Look at this. Look at this. I should do this for a living. Regular raisin, you put rum. You put frangelico. You put kalua. Put cognac, put whatever you want booze in there. If you don't drink booze, uh, <laughs> a few moments later, now it's good, friends. Remember, when you're looking for salt, you want to find the salt. You look for the salt. You look for it. And if you can't find it, then keep testing. And now, we need to create somewhat of a uh, triangle, if you will, you know? So, what happened is, is right here, I got this thickness in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to open it up like a book, if you will. You see? That's so remember the breast were like that? So we take the tenderloin. That's the tenderloin. That's normally what you get in a, in a chicken also, right? And you take it right there, and you open it up like a book. So now we have like a, somewhat of a triangle over there, Okay. Well, we got the triangle I was telling you about. I got to tell you this funny story. Years ago, when I bought the restaurant, it, it was a phony restaurant, and I decided, I said, oh, taking over this restaurant, I'm going to introduce them to French food. So the night before, I took chicken and I marinated it in red wine, because when you make a coco vin, you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to marinate the chicken in red wine. And, uh, and then you do it this way. So same deal, except you marinate it with a bouquet garni, fresh herbs, and, and, and a thyme, and you can put oregano, and basil, and basil, uh, ba not basil, uh, bay leaves, and you put it in, the, in my, and you let it marinate overnight in red wine. What happened when you do that? The chicken turns purple. Yeah, yeah, it turns purple. So the next day, uh, I said to the waiters, I said, uh, uh, today we're doing a coconut chicken and red wine. Most of them had no idea what it was because they were all from uh, uh, Springfield, Ohio, and they never had coconut before, and they never knew, they didn't know what it was. So we served the first dish, 
and the first customer that we serve it to with a regular at the restaurant, I didn't know, and he cuts into the chicken and he calls the waiter, he says, waiter, the chicken is purple. I don't eat purple chicken. <laughs> so the waiter comes to me and he says, chef, I'm sorry, but uh, the customer said the chicken is purple. He doesn't want to eat it. I said, it's supposed to be purple. It marinated in red white overnight. So then another waitress comes in and goes, chef, uh, the chicken don't want, the customer don't want to eat the kitchen. It's purple. And the new people in the channel say, this guy is nuts. And that's okay. <laughs> we don't mind having this label. I get rid of the wall. And look at it. Look at it right there, folks. Look at it in there, folks. You see right there? That's the enemy. Right there. The day you see me putting water into a sauce, you know I'm done, eh? Call, call me a psychiatrist, okay? Call, call me a nut doctor. I got a timer in here. I'm gonna start at five minutes. This time, I'm not waiting on nobody. <laughs> All right. Many, many minutes later. My timer didn't go off. Maybe it was not five minutes. <laughs> I better check my crouton, otherwise, you know, you, no, they're good. They're like, uh, they're not even ready yet. How you doing, guys, over there? Everybody happy in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, just checking. <laughs> Making sure everybody's happy in there. So, I, I'm not very good. <laughs> I didn't click on start. I am totally challenged. <laughs> I put the timer on five minutes. I said, you know what, I'm going to show them off. I'm going to put a timer on it, and then I'm going to... I'm going to show them over there that I can do it on my own, right? Except <laughs> I didn't turn it on. Ah, uh, thank goodness. Thank goodness I can cook, right? Otherwise, I don't know what they'll have me here for. <laughs> so now you can see, it took about uh, three or four or five minutes. Three, four, five. Was it three or four or five? I don't know. It was somewhere around there. You can skip the butter. I was only kidding. <laughs> don't skip the butter, okay? Don't touch it. Why don't you touch it? Because we want to create the mala reaction. We want a caramelization of protein. As I say, don't touch it, what do I do? I touch it. I'm gonna have some ground chicken in there, and I don't know if you guys seen uh, ground chicken at the grocery store, but trust me, you don't want to buy ground chicken at the grocery store. Very simple, you buy the filo pastry, you uh, take it out, make sure it's uh, uh, out of the fridge. Oh, good idea, right? <laughs> Can't do it if it's in the fridge. <laughs> I don't know about me sometime. We're gonna put the onion and we're gonna caramelize the onion. We're gonna caramelize them. Depends how much you have, how big of your pot you have, how big of your pot you have. <laughs> I think Instead of my English improving, it's getting worse. Because if you don't do it, if you don't care for with it, if you don't care for with it, if you're not careful with it, that's how you make pink ginger, ginger. Pink ginger, pink ginger. A thin steak like this, you want to get a nice crust, leave it alone, leave it alone, leave it alone. <laughs> carrots, I got some carrots in here, and uh, then I cut, peeled and cut. Uh, butter makes everything better, better. Butter makes everything butter. No, <laughs> butter makes everything, I, did I say butter? I said butter, I said butter makes everything butter. Butter makes everything better. It really does, I love butter, but we can talk about that some other time. Sound like a. <laughs> that has to be one of the easiest recipes I'm ever going to show you. Okay, just like a child could do this. If a child cannot do this, we need to have a talk with him. And I turn my heat off. Well, how do you like that? Not a good idea. While you're cooking, do not turn the heat off. And I haven't drink anything. You see? Oh, there's a piece of garlic in there. <laughs> that one is for me. 
Now, for those of you that think my accent is a fake accent, it's not. Okay, I'm half French and half Italian. All right, but I'm now I'm 100% American. God bless America. God bless the rest of the world. We need some blessing. <laughs> how long do you cook the garlic for? How long, how long, how long do you cook it for? Until it's golden brown. Um, no, not golden brown. Until it smells. <laughs> That's the opposite. Not until it's golden brown. Until it smells. And right now, it smells. Smell. Smell. <laughs> it smells amazing. Now, you see a lot of people, what they do, they cut, they do it again. They cut, they do it again. They cut, Mama Mia, three days later, they're still there, right? I'm watching somebody doing it wrong. I'm like, Mama Mia, who taught you to cook a steak? Okay, this is the peak I'm referring to. You see right there? This is the peak right there, the peak. I don't want it to be a hot peak where... Mm, you want it to be soft, otherwise you won't be able to incorporate it. See, that's soft, soft peak. See, no, no, no standing up. I hear you over there. Ha ha ha, I know it was hot. Ooh. Ah. Huh. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. Ah. Mm. Mm. Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's delicious, but it's hot. Wow, oh, it's hot. It's delicious, right there, huh? Oh, it's gonna be hot. I know it's gonna be a little hot, but that's why you put a little sour cream in there. Mmm. I see steam coming out of my mouth. Oh, oh, mamma mia. Ah, ha, ha. no. Ah, ha. I'm impressed with my cooking. That's pretty cool. Ah, ah. Ooh. who? Big. Normally, wait until it's not so hot. Okay. I'm gonna blow on it because it's gonna be hot. I'm gonna burn myself. Ah, ha, ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, mmm. When your eyes are crying. <laughs> You know it's hot, okay? And uh, oh, 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 don't do that. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, that was so hot. Give it a good massage with a with a sage butter. See, leave it a steak alone. Leave it a potato alone. Boy, I heard some crack. I don't know where it came from. But <laughs> All right, a little butter in here, friends. And a very simple sauce, okay? These pens move around. You see that? Whee! How do you like that? <laughs> How do you keep an eye on it? Oh, mamma mia. Oh, thank goodness I'm here. <laughs> thank goodness I'm here. Where would I be? In another kitchen somewhere where I'm here cooking for you? I forgot fresh time. You got to put fresh time. We've been marinated in rum for a few months. <laughs> oh, yeah, C Captain Morgan spice rum. You put them in there like this, Captain Morgan. Those are great for the kids in the morning. For <laughs> you give them for the kids in the morning for cereal. Oh, yeah. Oh, daddy, I get more some more of this. Relax, it's only cooking, folks. We're not sending a man on the moon, eh? Some people are like so anal about it. Oh, mama me, I don't have this. I'm not going to be able to make that recipe. Don't worry, relax. I have another glass of wine. It's only cooking. Not too long ago, I was in, um, at the airport in New York with my suitcase. And I got 10 pounds of Herbe de Provence. Not like you're going to smoke or anything. You know, it's Herbe de Provence, right? And the big old dog is hemming from me. I said, oh, boy, I'm in trouble. How am I going to explain that I don't smoke the stuff I cook with it? And they're going to say, yeah, sure you do. Come this way. And they looked at me and whoop, it went away. Oh, I guess he didn't like the smell of Herb de Provence. Thank goodness. My YouTube audience, you guys are amazing. No, no, really. Give yourself a round of applause. All of you are there. I'm telling you, you guys are supporting my channel so much. It's amazing. <laughs>